And here comes our first boater of the day, making his approach on the dock, and it appears we are towing a jet ski. Always makes for an interesting scene, especially considering he's by himself, it appears. And the jet ski's just gonna hit the boat. I mean, there's not a lot you can do here. The jet ski's got no brakes, and being by himself, he has no way to keep it off the boat. But we kind of stopped short of the dock. One of the things that makes this a little dangerous from time to time, though, is gonna be that line being in the water at the stern of his vessel. I mean, if that thing gets around a prop, it can wreak havoc. But welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are back down here visiting Boyden Beach. And our guy's gonna back out and give another shot at this. So here we go again. Slow roll approach on the dock, like the pace, because this one moving too fast is gonna be a risk because the line's so short, there's no way he's gonna be able to stop that ski from hitting the boat when he comes to a stop. And doing it at any speed obviously won't be good, but he's got somebody on the dock to help him here now. And they should be good to roll. And the light boat hit. And here comes our next crew of the day. First mate, getting the fishing poles out of the way. Good job. See this one a lot at the ramps where people will pull up with like a port side dock, kind of like it looks like our guy's going for, with stuff all over the port side, and then they wonder why they struggle to get on the dock. At least she was moving the stuff out of the way to make life a whole lot easier. So Cap goes with the hard brake check. Gonna try and line it up right this time. And our first mate's even got some lines on the ready. So cap comes in, a little hot, brake checks it right at the last second. First mate goes for the step off. No, not one foot on the dock, one foot on the boat. That's never good. Cap jumps over and around. He almost trips, but he's going to grab her by the arm and try and bring the boat back over. It's always risky when captain leaves the vessel, especially if there's nothing really attached to the dock because, I mean, the boat could have just drifted off. But he makes the save at the last second and first mate stays dry. I do, however, have a feeling it's about to get really busy down here as we see those dark clouds in the background, which means we're probably going to have a lot of boaters trying to end their day here shortly. And as we mentioned a little earlier, you can see that wind has definitely picked up in the background and our weather is turning fast down here at Boyton. And we are starting to see a lot of people come in and our jet boat here is on approach, but going to be battling a fairly strong wind now. So our guy's up in the bow of the boat, got a line on the ready. And Captain's gonna go ahead and take that bow in approach. And our guy gets the step off. Good job, guys, because it's gotten a little wild down here. I mean, this wind, when it's whipping like this, here you can see the boat coming in front of us. It wreaks havoc with these boaters. As you can see here, he's gotta grab it last second to try and keep it on the dock. But it's definitely getting a little chaotic down here as the wind picks up. So our next crew's chosen to go all the way down to the last dock, and it feels like it's a little more protected down here due to the mangroves that are behind us than what some of the people are dealing with on the docks further over to the right, as Cap's able to come over the window there and get this boat tied off pretty easily. But here comes our next crew. And they're gonna take the slow roll approach in toward the dock. Good pace, especially on a situation like this where it's gotten windy. It You want to be in control the whole time. So he's going to start turning the bow in toward the dock. And hands on the dock, and we look pretty good to go here. Kind of surprised. I mean, as windy as it's gotten, it really hasn't been that chaotic yet. Typically, when we see a wind like this down here at the boat ramp, things usually start getting out of hand. So our crew, they've got it tied off. They're good to go. And here comes our next boater in right behind them. Oh, but these guys are off. 
They're going to watch out. That's a metal bracket around that pole that's in the water, and they're going to hit it. And that's one quick way to scuff your boat. And this boat looks brand spanking new almost. And they're just rubbing it right along that metal. So our guys got out with a line. Going to try and pull the bow around. But somebody needs to kick this thing off of that. Ever since they redid these docks down here at Boynton and added those metal brackets, it's become another hazard that we just didn't have down here before. And it's one that we've seen quite a few people wind up running into. Same as this situation here. So our guy's trying to pull the boat up. But you can tell the wind and current's trying to pull the boat away. Our young lady in the bow looks like she's trying to get off for the assist. And there we go. And this crew should be able to get this one put up from here. As we try and sort out the tangled mess that is the lines. And everybody's lending a hand on this one. And there we go. Now we finally will get it put up. And we knew it was coming. It didn't take long. And those black clouds broke free to gray clouds and a whole bunch of water being dumped on us down here. So... The madness at the ramp continues. We're trying to catch it, filming from inside a car. But let's see how this one rolls. This jet ski trailer we see here with the Jeep, these guys struggled earlier when they were trying to launch it. I'm curious if they're gonna struggle now trying to come back down in the rain. But everybody and everything down here at the ramp is absolutely drenched now. This always makes a fun way to end the day out on the water. I mean, nothing like getting into your vehicle completely soaked. One of my least favorite times. But here goes our Jeep, backing it up. So far, they look okay, but what? Well, they've stopped for some reason. I couldn't tell if they hit the dock or what, because everything kind of shook for a second. Maybe it was just the brakes. And we're going to go for attempt number two on trying to back this down. And this one stinks too, being stuck out there on a jet ski with no type of protection whatsoever. So, our Jeep's beginning their second approach. Let's see if it ends any better than the first one. Ah, it will because we've got the backup assist. So, our Jeep's backing up. Our guy right here is carrying the trailer down in the pouring rain to try and get this one put away. Oh, that's a rough way to end the day right there. But speaking of ending the day, this is how we're gonna end our day as well. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, does some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.